Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. We have y equals x squared and y equals 2 minus x, and we're looking for the area of the region that's shaded in pink there. And you're supposed to work it two ways, one by integrating with respect to x and one by integrating with respect to y. So before we get started on um, setting up the integrals, if we know that we're going to have to integrate, set it up once with respect to x and once with respect to y, that means that we're going to need equations of the form y equals something and then equations of the form x equals something as well. They gave us the form y equals something, so let's figure out how we can write these curves as functions of y now, so x equals some function of y. So if we start with y equals 2 minus x and we rearrange it to get x equals something, what do we have? x equals 2 minus y. Good. That is this line here. Now we're going to look at y equals x squared, the parabola. If we solve for x, what are we going to get? Plus or minus the square root of y, that's right. Which is not a function because we have two values for one input. We're going to separate it though into two separate functions of y. We are going to have x equals the positive square root of y and x equals the negative square root of y. In other words, the positive x values, this portion of the graph to the right of zero, could be thought of as x equals the positive square root of y. And then on the left, all of these have negative x values. So we could think of this half as x equals the negative square root of y. So when we set up an integral with respect to y, we're going to have to use these three curves. So setting up the definite integral with respect to x, I think it's actually going to be easier this time. The representative rectangle when we're integrating with respect to x is going to look like this. And how do we find the area of a rectangle? The base times the height, right? So the height of this rectangle is going to be the top function, the top y value minus the bottom y value, top function minus the bottom function. So what would that integral look like? With respect to, this is the dx version of the integral. We're going to go from what value to what value. I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. How would I find that? Points of intersection. Let's do that real quick. x squared equals 2 minus x. That means x squared plus x equals 2. That means that x squared plus x minus 2 equals 0. Does that factor? x plus 2, x minus 1 equals 0. So yes, yeah, so our x values are what they look like. They would be negative 2 and 1 are the points of intersection. So we're going to go from negative 2 to 1. Top minus bottom, which function is on the top? y equals 2 minus x. Good, so we're going to say 2 minus x minus which function is on the bottom, x squared. Notice we're using all x's inside here and also the bounds were x values as well because we're integrating with respect to x. So let's do the dy version now. When I do dy, I want a horizontal representative rectangle. So base times height, the base of this rectangle is going to be our dy, our change in y. The height is going to be right minus left. If you notice, there is a point in this region where if we look above that dotted line, the right function is the line and the left function is the parabola. But if we look below that line, different story. The right function is the positive side of the parabola, the left function is the negative side. So we're actually going to have to set up two separate integrals because to get the height we're going to need to use two separate formulas. We're still going to use the idea of right minus left. So let's start with the piece that goes from the y value 0 to what looks like the y value 1. But let's confirm that. Plug in the x value 1, and what do we get for y? We get 1 as well. So our y values for this bottom piece are going from 0 to 1. Integral from 0 to 1. And then what was the right side going to be? The, the, the x value for this end of the rectangle? 
square root of y. And what are we subtracting from that? What's the left side? Negative square root of y, good. It's in blue here. And that's a dy, of course. And then we're gonna add to that the integral from what to what? Remember, we're looking at what, where this is a dy integral, so our bounds have to be y values. It looks like it's gonna go from one, what is, what is the y coordinate there? We know the x coordinate's negative two, plugging in then the y coordinate must be four. So it's gonna go from one to four, okay? And then right minus left, the right side is the line, right? Two minus y, and then we're subtracting from that negative square root of y. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to like it.